In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. New day, back at it. We talked through the bathroom situation and uh, Lindsay and I decided that we're going to keep the existing box and rip the carpet out. We're going to keep the existing box back there and we're going to go ahead and tile it or, or put the vinyl flooring on it. So you can see the wires are back there. You can see where the paint was done around the carpeted box. So I have the joy of getting to take the toilet out one more time today, putting the box in, putting the vinyl flooring on the box, cleaning the toilet. I'm going to leave that to Lindsay. Um, and then I usually clean the toilets. I just don't want to clean this one. Yeah, I'm going to clean the toilet. One of the two of us are going to clean the toilet. And then I'm going to put the toilet back on and we're going to call it done in the toilet section. Someone else's poop. Fear all them. <laughs> Bleach. <laughs> oh, it's in there. Yep. Oh. That's not coming out. <laughs> Get away from me. Alright, that's good. I was able to put the vinyl planks uh, custom cut for the most part around the toilet base. What's not custom and perfect is going to be covered up by the toilet itself. And then I put the box back in to protect the, um, the water plumbing and the wires that are running behind the toilet that run along the, the bedroom as well. And then I put the flooring on that and I trimmed it out. I went ahead and I worked on the steps a little bit so that I could lock in the flooring. I put this new trim in. And so that'll hold this here, and so now I can get back to the dang flooring, and it'll just pound right in, and it won't slide over. So I've got all of my excuses out of the way for why I'm not working on the floor anymore. So I rushed out last night, we had to go to church, and I wanted to get the living room, what I'm calling the living room. I think it's what is called the living room. It's wanted to get it finished, for the most part, with the long stretch of... Um, the flooring and so that's done and I'll show you how awesome it looks How awesome Lindsay looks Always look awesome you know it. So I got it run I gotta cut these Corners here, which isn't fun, but it's not difficult and then same thing here. We are outlining all the costs that we're uh, putting into this. Obviously labor, I'm worth like $350 an hour. So um, we're gonna inflate the charge, the labor costs, which I think we're up to about 100 hours now. So 35, is that $35,000 uh, in labor is what I'm charging oh my you. Goodness. Um, we're not building labor and obviously when you do this, it's a labor of love or in my case, a labor of cursing, but uh, we are going to break down all the costs for each of these projects and then the whole thing together. So if you're interested in part or all of what we're doing in our camper, we're definitely going to be laying that out for you if we haven't already done so. I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down and come into the bathroom. Finish laying the tile, the flooring. Looks like it'll be one sheet into the bedroom, two sheets into the bedroom. I'll come over one sheet and then I'm gonna to have to use part of a sheet and then it looks like we'll have another couple maybe five or six and the bedroom is small small space so this is gonna be a pain in the butt Lindsay wants to record this because she says it's a fun piece 
I said, she's a fun piece. And like so, I'm going to use a screwdriver on the it's back end. Happening. Now just to squeeze a little bit. Squeeze a little bit. Just to get it nice and snug. There we go. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Just locked perfectly into place. I'm doing some mathematicas to make this piece here happen. We got this nice 18 and a half inch plank and then I got to make this angle here. So what I've done is I've measured this at two and a half inches. So I know this board's got to overlap there two and a half inches. And then I know I got to make this angle coming off of there and it's going to be four and a half inches up from this corner here. Four and a half inches. So I've got two points, and anytime you have two points, you can make a line. There are fancy, uh, what do they call them? Angle majiggers. <laughs> and you could do fancy angle majigging to help you. But I prefer a little manual thinking. That's what's wrong with America? Ain't no manual thinking no more. People on cell phones, computers. Hey Siri, what's this angle cut? You think Siri knows that? <laughs> hey Alexa, can you make this cut for me? You think she can do this cut? I'm gonna take my fancy jigger square here, and I'm gonna take my knife, and I'm gonna do what I've been doing for the last three and a half days. I'm going to cut this nasty linoleum floor. Because I don't care about it. And now, I'm going to take my cheaty block. That's what I call it, a cheaty block. I'm going to line it up right about like that. Snap. Snappy snap snap. Oh, snap. And then, right like that, it's a little oh, bit it's off. It's a little bit off, yeah. It's a little bit Could off. Could be because of that piece, though. Hey, Siri, fix this dang thing for me. <laughs> Your mom's laughing. <laughs> We're filming. <laughs> that was awesome. He said it. Yes. But it's okay, because it's hilarious. <laughs> I was wondering if you were having a party out here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm helping them out. Look at that. Exactly. And I can't say what I was going to say because my mom's here. There's a fancy tool for everything. Okay. Going, but but uh, what was your theory? Or you were saying about America? America doesn't think anymore. They want some tool doing all the work for them. So he was asking if Siri could cut the board for her. <laughs> But no, I had to do the math myself, and I feel much more fulfilled for but having done it. But it was good, it. and it's spot on. Fit. As if you doubted me. Good job, babe. I am exhausted, but the flooring is done. I haven't done the trim, but I have floored everything in the living room, kitchen, bathroom, and bedroom, so we'll take a look before I go to bed. Here is the living room from the driver's side all the way up. Kitchen. Trimmed out nicely. Bathroom. Trimmed out fantastically. And then on into the bedroom. Lindsay side. Now, I am going to trim this box, or I'm going to use the flooring on this box. So, um, that's a storage area underneath the, the camper. But up here, it is just a in the way box. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put um, the flooring on there and make it nice and beautiful. And then over 
on my side of the bed. The flooring continues. And then there's our magnificent laundry chute. So I will use the flooring up to the front side of here, but then I'm going to just paint the top of the box with the laundry chute. So a little bit more of the flooring to work with, but not on the floor, just those two boxes. And all the trim to do. And then the floors will be done. But it, this place looks awesome. I mean, looking at it in this direction, the paint's done. The white and gray on the walls. Cabinets are hung. Floor is done. This is coming together very nice. On that note, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of our journey as we remodel our 1999 Shasta Cheyenne 31-foot Class CRV. We appreciate you taking time to watch this video. If you haven't already done so, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, tell all your friends and family about the awesome things we are preparing to do as we're getting this uh, camper fixed up. Thanks again for being a part of our journey, and you will see us when you see us, which is now.